See all these empty seats? Thousands of students around the Miami Valley are said to be missing way too much school. But is that true? And what can we do to get more kids to class? Our Hillary Zala investigates truancy in tonight's special report. I was on my way to work every day. The life of a working mom for Joanna Bankston, get to work. Work at 15. After getting a fourth grader to school by eight. Not easy in the midst of the morning's mad rush. Joanna's daughter Deja was often late, sometimes by only one minute. We racked up a lot of tardies. 54 of them in one year. Her school policy, um, so many tardies equal to absence. It only takes 20 unexcused absences to earn you a call from the courts. They um, just let me know that I was truant. And sent to the Start Right program, which helps parents of chronically absent students. All of them had uh, reasons that, uh, you know, you and I could solve in, uh, in an hour, but they couldn't solve them at all. Montgomery County Juvenile Court Judge Nick Kuntz began the program. He believes solving absenteeism starts with parents of young kids. Most parents care very much about their kindergarten child or their first grade child. So they care a great deal. They just don't know exactly what's important. And that's getting to school. We found out the yearly average of attendance in districts around the Miami Valley. The state average is 93%. Here's a look at attendance at Dayton schools since 2007. The district is at 92.2% yearly attendance. So 18 out of 20 students are in their seats every day. They're approaching the 19th child, but the question remains. So how do we get that last kid in their seat? Well, we're never going to get all of them in their seats. An impossible task because kids are always going to be sick, but progress has to start somewhere, and that may be with these very numbers. It, it, it always seemed ridiculous to me. Attendance in Ohio is determined by count week. The problem is worse than what shows up on that count day. One week a year when school districts establish a head count used to figure state aid. It determines how much money they get. I want them to do everything they can do every day to get their kids to school. Some lawmakers agree. Legislation at the State House right now aims to count attendance more accurately. If a student is missing 15 days for 12 years, they are missing one full year of instruction. Megan Winston is the principal of Horace Mann School in Dayton. Incentive programs work for her students, offering an ice cream party for the year with the best attendance. It really builds that um, excitement about coming to school and being there each day. Usually a parent's responsibility. All kinds of parents, even teachers. Tell me more. I am a second grade teacher, educator. Juana is proof it can happen to anyone. Even though I am an educator, I was in the same situation, you know, I you know, still accept the responsibility. Which is why someday we may see that last kid in their seat. Hillary Zala for Fox 45 News. A judge also believes we should be a lot more fair when it comes to funding, saying the districts with excess money and high attendance rates give money to districts with low attendance rates.